identity management isn't always the coolest conversation starter, but it's important nonetheless. And I think you'll find this one a little more exciting because it involves Rancher. In this video, I want to show you how to configure a single sign-on setup between Rancher and your identity provider. For demonstrative purposes, I'll be using Okta. I understand that the configuration side of things won't catch the interest of some because it's not within their purview, but the benefits of such a setup will impact the authentication experience of your Rancher users either way. On the other hand, individuals like Rancher administrators, solution architects, and the relevant security personnel will certainly find value in knowing about this feature and how it works. It's one thing to get excited about managing your Kubernetes clusters with Rancher, but you still have to plan and architect around management of your users. Rancher's architecture consists of a component known as the authentication proxy, which acts as a gatekeeper for all incoming requests and does the job of authenticating the user. So Rancher allows you to create and manage all the users and their respective permissions in the Rancher server itself. And this model works just fine. However, some organizations might be looking to extend an existing single sign-on model with identity providers like Microsoft's AD, GitHub, Ping Identity, and the list goes on. Reason being, managing users in multiple places can quickly become complex for IT administrators, not to mention it can be a poor experience for end users who have to manage multiple credentials. Thankfully, Rancher enables you to extend your organization's identity management solution to maintain a centralized approach to authentication and simplify the process of mapping permissions for users who will be accessing Rancher. Let's take a look at what this flow entails using the example of Okta's SAML-based authentication. Your end users will access Rancher through the relevant host or domain name and be presented with a sign-in page to log in with Okta. When a user initiates the login process, it will redirect them to Okta's login page with a SAML authentication request. You can then sign in as per norm, and this will redirect your browser back to Rancher with a SAML response containing the authentication assertion, which Rancher will consume and validate based on the original request. But enough talk. Let's take a look at this in action. So I am signed into the admin console for my Okta instance. And what I'm going to proceed to do now is to create a new application integration. So you'd simply navigate there to the application section, create an app integration, and this will have a sign-in method of SAML2.0. And I'm going to click Next. And I'll be prompted to provide some information uh, basic information such as the application name and you can also optionally provide an application logo which end users would be able to see as well from their application section inside of Okta. And um, under the general SAML settings you need to provide a single sign-on URL as well as the audience URI and this is information that you can get from the Rancher documentation and it will be specific to your host name for your Rancher server and so I'm going to quickly enter that. Once that is done, I'll proceed to just leave a lot of the settings to their default. And under the attribute statements, which is also optional, I will um, make some modifications to this. Okta does provide some user uh, declarations that you can actually make use of um, to pass through to Rancher to provide some information such as the username, the display name, etc. And so for that, I'm going to add a username. Once you're done with all of that, the next thing will be to download the identity provider metadata because you will need to include this in the integration step inside of your Rancher server. And so I'm going to save that. And now I'm switching over to take care of the Rancher configuration. So I'll head over to Users and Authentication. Head over to the Auth Provider, and I'll look for Okta in my case. 
as you can see over here, you're presented with different fields that we actually provisioned for in the Okta admin console. So I will provide display name, username, and for the UID field, similarly, I will leave this as, I'll set this as username rather, and groups will simply be groups, and I've already got my Rancher API host. Now, in order for you to have assertion encryption, you need to generate a certificate and a key, which you can do with an open SSL command. And even this command is provided in the Rancher documentation and I've already run it. And so I'm going to upload my private key and certificate. And then lastly, the metadata that I downloaded from Okta. Now, before I enable the process, um, I need to head back to the Okta admin console and assign this to a user, in which case I'll assign it to myself. Now this, because I was already signed into Okta with that end user, it's why I was able to enable the Okta authentication. Go ahead and save this. And so you can see what this looks like. I will proceed to sign out. And there you have it. If you're interested in learning more about Rancher, be sure to sign up for the SUSE and Rancher Community Network and join the up and running Rancher course.